On an upland plain in the southeastern corner of Ethiopia live the Borana people. Their society too centers on the struggle for a daily supply of water, but under completely different natural conditions, and in consequence, with other social implications. Here, there are neither rivers nor glaciers. And from October to March, there is no rain. It's strange to be in a landscape arid as far as the eye can see and listen to sounds emanating from vast herds of cattle enveloped in clouds of dust. 300,000 people, close on a million head of cattle, and an assortment of camels, goats and horses must consume enormous quantities of water. But where do they find it? Every day, for months on end, cattle can be seen being herded across the plain and down into man-made ravines. Out of sight, there are a number of deep year-round wells, or tulas as they are called, on which the community is wholly dependent. This man is at the foot of a human chain that starts 40 meters above him. Down here, the lack of air is suffocating. Fresh air comes down with the empty buckets made from giraffe hide. Water up, air down, hour after hour, from early morning till evening. The origin of these wells is shrouded in mystery. No one knows who first dug them. The locals say that they were here when the Borano people invaded the region in the 16th century. This Tula, Melbana, is the deepest of them all. The shaft alone is 25 meters in depth. These men and women carry in their hands the very lifeblood of the Barana people. A break in the chain would have dire consequences for all concerned. Physical violence is strictly taboo. It would threaten the very cosmic order, since without cooperation, no one would get any water. Without this cooperation, the cows would no longer calve, the wells would fall into disrepair, and the community would wither. <laughs> 